Hi everybody, Ali from Polton Burnables here. This is going to be part three of my mouse droid build. In this video, we're going to talk about the hidden door mechanism and how that's all going to work. And then we're going to take a look at building up this whole top shell of the droid. Be sure to check out parts one and two if you want to get caught up on the other parts of the build. So let's start by talking about this hidden door and what mechanisms are required. Let's hide some of the other parts so we can focus on just the door. Here's the outline of the hidden door, which will latch closed with a single magnet in the center. When designing the door, I evaluated different methods and geometries for opening and closing it. One big constraint was that the LED sign was going to take up a lot of real estate where certain types of door mechanisms would physically want to be. The simplest way that I came up with to move the door was to use a real, think fishing reel type mechanism. I love to keep design simple and this certainly fits that bill. We have a real style coupler that clamps onto the end of the shaft of a small stepper motor. A bracket mounts the whole thing to the top of the shell of the mouse droid. Some black fishing line will thread through the center of the reel and be tied off. The other end of the fishing line ties off here on the door. The plan is to use the stepper to run a hard-coded number of steps for opening and closing the door. I've also designed in a snap action home switch, which I can fall back on using if the hard-coded stepper values prove too unreliable. All right, let's get this real mechanism printed out and assembled. The reel can only pull on the door, so when opening, we need something else to break the magnetic latch and help get the door over center so that gravity can do the rest. I looked into using off-the-shelf linear actuators, but they were expensive and usually not the right geometry that I needed. I then looked into designing my own, which worked out really well. I'm going to do a whole separate video on all the details of this linear actuator, so keep an eye out for that. The quick summary is that you can use an $8 continuous rotation servo to make your own cheap 3D printed linear actuator. This is what's going to break the magnetic latch, push the door over center, and then let the reel lower the door to its fully open position. Let's get this linear actuator printed out and assembled. Let's now quickly talk about the top shell of the mouse droid. It will attach to the bottom shell through pairs of magnets in these locations. The door itself will slide into place through these grooves that have been designed in. The top shell will be printed in 10 pieces and bonded together. This is one of the final major subassemblies of the droid, which is really exciting. Let's get it made. Sweet, so we have the majority of the mouse droid assembled and let's test out how the door operates. In the next video, I'm gonna talk more about the final version of the electronics, um, but for now, the door is controlled by Bluetooth through my phone, just like the scrolling LED sign. So I can trigger the opening and the closing, all from my phone. All right, seems to be working pretty well, so um, let's Take it out on the road and see how opening and closing the door works while driving it around.
That's it for this build. We've made some awesome progress and I'm super excited about completing this build. In the next video, we're going to talk about the final form of the electronics, add some outer detailing, and get this guy sanded and painted. If you want to see the final product, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to help the channel grow and tackle bigger projects, please check out my Patreon page. There you can get access to lots of exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.